Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel, and uh, Microsoft finally did it. The Copilot is now fixed, and they are saying that blockers have been removed. So if you're on 22H2 and you couldn't see 23H2, it would seem that you might actually see the 23H2 happen with uh, this blocker removed now. So they fixed mostly the uh, portion of Copilot that was creating problems with the icons on the desktop, especially on multiple displays, but a few other little things also that they uh, needed to check out. So um, your Copilot has been technically updated by itself, and if you are one of those that has not seen 23H2 appear, I would suggest that you go into your settings, go into the Windows Update, and just check if by any chances uh, they are offering you the upgrade path to 23H2. I know some of you haven't seen it, uh, but it would seem that now it's back to normal. And most of you, uh, once again, not everybody probably, uh, there could be some other types of blockers that have to do with you know software you have, uh, drivers, hardware, and so on. But if the blocker, the main blocker for you was really Copilot, the 23H2 operating system, uh, after checking updates, should be visible. It should tell you, yep, yeah, you want to move on to 23H2? Let's go. So check it out and let me know, guys, if you were on 22H2 and wanted to move on and checked if it's available now. Apparently it is. Um, I've seen a few people saying that they did see it appear on their Windows updates. So this is going to be uh, interesting to see if uh, more people get 23H2 um, on Windows 11. And um, this week, just to add, this week is Patch Tuesday. So tomorrow, Tuesday, um, the 13th. Let's hope that that number doesn't mean anything unlucky for the updates. We will get the uh, bug fixes, not the bug fixes, the uh, security fixes of the month for Windows 10 and 11, so it's going to be interesting to see. So check it out. Uh, maybe you have 23H2 available starting now, and um, you'll be able to upgrade possibly to the latest version of Windows 11. If you don't see it, if you're still stuck at 22H2, don't worry. You still have time. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.